Maria suffered a series of strokes that began 10 years ago until last year. She didn't think she would ever recover. Really serious. Still, I can't believe that right now I'm already walking, moving my arm, my legs. Not the same way, but better, a lot better. I never expected to see myself walking again because I was like this, with my mouth like this, but... She remembers the pain it caused her family. I saw them suffering, crying to see me like that. And my son told me once that I, I was a lady, very strong, but it's what it makes me to follow everything what doctor told me because I suffer also to see my children suffering also. I'm sorry, every time I remember. She credits Dr. Moniz for her recovery. Thanks to him, I'm here walking again and feeling better. A stroke can start in a variety of ways. A subtle stroke could be difficulty balancing. Subtle stroke could be just a difficulty talking. It's called dysarthria. Severe headache followed by a slurred speech. Severe headache or have difficulty walking or difficulty with balance. That could be a stroke. The hemorrhagic strokes are the biggest challenge for us. Hemorrhagic means the bleeding in the brain. So you can sometimes, the patients have an aneurysm, okay, and that aneurysm gets burst and then bleeding, severe bleeding, and sometimes not enough time to save those patients. That's number one. Uh, hemorrhagic strokes uh, in, the, in the, uh, the area of the brain was posterior fossa. Uh, if the, the bleeding is in that area, even though there's no aneurysm, but again, those are the highest risk patients that have difficult, uh, they are challenging um, as far as the survival go, uh, because some of those uh, are into 70% mortality rates. Immediate diagnosis and treatment is critical. There is a window of time. These are all time sensitive treatments. He has a stroke clinic the first Wednesday of the month. Once a patient has a stroke, there's automatically increased risk for another stroke. So we make sure in those patients that they do not get another stroke. We make sure that the, all the blood pressure, the heart, all the blood vessels, uh, any contributing factors that can increase the risk for strokes are taken care of. Maria has some advice for others in her situation. Is to follow the instructions from the doctor and also not to stop seeing a therapist. Doing the, uh, the exercises daily, taking the medication, and they might feel better. Thanks to them, I'm walking again, and but I'm putting a lot of my effort into it. For more information, please contact the Neurosciences Center of Imperial Valley.